Well, hello internets. Here we are with a bit of the unboxing and uh, operations check video. In front of us here we have a Power Advantage cordless screwdriver. Uh, this here um, is not the kind of driver you'd use to build a basement or uh, take apart a car or so. It's kind of a screwdriver that uh, comes in handy once in a while for light, small projects. However, uh, according to online reviews, uh, may not have what you need to, well, get the job done for anything larger. Uh, I bought I bought this for a specific purpose for upcoming videos, and uh, it should work for proof of concept for what I'm looking for. Well, first of all, as you see, it comes in a handy dandy shelf uh, display package where she stands up on the shelf or can hang from a peg hook. Comes with the screwdriver itself, as well as, well, some starter bits, some bit holders, and of course the plug in to charge uh, wall adapter there. Turning the package over, well, you see the other half of the uh, driver or screwdriver here and your standard uh, US Canadian plug. Now I'd imagine uh, if you're buying this in another country there'd be a different style plug in here but for my country this is the plug that is standard. So let's tear into this baby and uh, well see what we have. So making sure there's no cords or nothing running uh, where you want to cut. I know I say this every time, but one of these times I'm going to buy one of those uh, package removal tools that uh, cuts open these type of packages instead of struggling with a uh, knife or pair of scissors. But you know, I never, uh, never done it yet and uh, kind of making do without it. So once you've uh, pried your way into that package, hopefully you haven't cut your finger off or sliced yourself open on the razor sharp plastic, then uh, pretty much you're at the driver itself. One thing is it's sure a light uh, feeling driver. Uh, there's not a lot of weight there. Uh, mainly to do because there's no battery pack in it. It's uh, strictly rechargeable. It'll be interesting to uh, take uh, one of these apart and uh, see what really makes it tick on the inside. So of course, like you see there, I uh, got the straight shaft right now, kind of straight in. If you want the angle design, press the little red button, twist her around, and then she's good for angle uh, operation. The battery right now is completely dead, as you can tell by no uh, power whatsoever. The two bit holders are, well, typical you'd find for uh, this level of product. One of the nice parts is, is they are magnetic, which uh, it was kind of surprising because I've ran into both um, styles regardless of uh, you know quality or price so the bits it has is uh, well there's five different kinds of flat heads here as well as uh, three different kinds of Phillips and uh, three different kinds of the Robertson so that should do a various wide selection of uh, light duty well fastening work again I'm not sure the uh, torque capacity in terms of screwing together you know boards and stuff but uh, we'll run a few screws in here and see how the battery lasts as well as you know how much torque it really has well the standard uh, well AC adapter pretty much plug her into the wall plug this end here into the port on the driver right here and then she's gonna charge up so basically what we'll do is we'll give this here a, a charge up, come on back and we'll finish the video. Okay guys, so there we go. I uh, threw a charge on the screwdriver. This uh, red uh, light here lights up 
and uh, tells you there's power going to it and tells you that it is charging. There is no indicator to say when it's fully charged or really I can't find anything online to say um, how long it takes to charge. However, um, I left it for three hours and uh, it took a charge which is definitely a good thing. The uh, battery wasn't hot when it came off the charger so obviously it wasn't overcharged so I think we're good to go. So we'll put one of the bit holders um, in the end here, it just pops on in, kind of like that. There isn't really a clip or anything to hold it secure but it kind of does bite in and kind of does hold. Now I've got a various uh, selection of wood screws, everything from inch and three quarter, two and a half, three inch and uh, four inch wood screws. So I think I got a fairly accurate representation of, uh, well, what is out there. So we're going to start small, start with the uh, short one and uh, work our way up to the larger one. So we'll put it on the uh, end of the driver. I'm going to use the uh, tilt or twist mode. Of course, let's uh, drive it on in and see what happens. Well, that was a pitiful attempt at running the screw in. It only got uh, pretty much down to about the top part of the threads and the driver powered on out. I guess what do you expect for only 200 RPM? It's not much of a screwdriver. Um, obviously if it's not going to run fully in an inch and three quarter screw, there's no way it's going to handle you know the larger ones by far. I remember having uh, one of these here drivers uh, when I was a kid. Uh, it wasn't this brand and I don't believe it was this color. But I remember it being uh, gutless then and not very dependable, as in always dead when you needed it. And then uh, 10 years ago when I was doing stereo installs, I, I bought another brand, a well-known brand, retail store brand, and it worked a little better. But it was still part of the same uh, basic design of, of family and it still had its flaws. So like I said, I did give it a three hour recharge time, which should be more than plenty to put a charge onto it. Um, maybe I didn't give it long enough recharge time. I will throw it back on the charger and uh, try again after, I don't know, uh, I gave it three hours last time. Well, let's try six hours and see what happens. Okay, so here we are, take two at running the inch and three quarter screw in. It has been charging for six hours in total now. Uh, battery still was not hot. Um, it was warm, so that must mean it took a little more of a charge than, uh, well, what the previous one did. So, of course, let's drive her in. And uh, once again, uh, looks like we got pretty much the same result. Um, I guess it is what it is. Uh, that being said, um, I was surprised when it would not run in the inch and three quarter screw. However, keep in mind, you know, it only is 3.6 volt, which is uh, well and far um, at the bottom end of the scale for any type of drill or driver nowadays. You know, I can almost guarantee it's not a lithium ion battery like some of the better ones are. And uh, this technology is like 20, 25 years old. Like I said, I remember having one that was pretty much the same design as this when I was a kid. And uh, it was about equally as uh, dependable as well. Now, that being said, I did not buy this here driver to run inch and a inch and three quarter screws. I bought it to uh, take electronics apart. 
like uh, DVD players, stereos, um, circuit boards, stuff like that. So it'll be running the little tiny three quarter inch, you know, smaller screws. So it should do okay. Uh, that being said, we'll have to monitor it and uh, see how it goes. Uh, worst comes to worst, I uh, take it apart and see, you know, how uh, many hamsters there are on the inside running around. I have a sus suspicion that there isn't very much power in here, uh, very much torque in here, and it's a rather low-end uh, Chinese, you know, driver. But again, you get what you pay for. I paid less than $10 for this, so I knew it was not going to stand up to, you know, something that is a lithium-ion battery with, uh, you know, 18 volt and like, you know, 800 foot-pounds of torque. But again, you get what you pay for, and, uh, well, it is what it is. So, pretty much, guys, this has been an unboxing, a little bit of a uh, first look and operations check at a Power Advantage driver. Um, time will tell to see how good it is at even spinning out these small screws. I will give it another six-hour charge, <laughs> and uh, hopefully it lasts a lot longer doing the small screws than it even did at an attempt at an inch and three quarter. And as always, thanks for watching Maxwell's World. Comment, subscribe, and enjoy.